Sometimes, you just have to get away from Nazareth and you go to a city which has pregnant people. You are about to understand what I'm saying. Why did the angel testify before Mary? Because Elizabeth was barren. Every day she has been having miscarriages. She was barren, she wasn't giving birth. So the angel says herself that she's six months pregnant. Meaning that the heavens are keeping count of Elizabeth's pregnancy. Elizabeth, Elizabeth is keeping count. One month. Two months. Three months. Even the heavens are counting. Kurira. If the heavens are keeping count of your pregnancy, you cannot have a miscarriage. The, the angels were guarding the pregnancy so that she couldn't have a miscarriage. The Lord is going to give you a different job which you can never lose. The Lord will give you a friend who will stay forever. The Lord will open one door for you. The Lord at one time will open a door for you. Which no one would ever be able to close. The Lord will do for you a miracle. Which no one will ever be able to close up. Time is fast spent. Mary went to Judea. Somebody said to Judea. What happened? And greeted. And said, Mary, what are you doing here? And they said, the angel has just left. He said, you are pregnant. Now these are points you need to note as we are about to close. Birds of the same feathers flock together. That's why Mary went to see Elizabeth. Because together they speak the same language. People said it is impossible. Elizabeth. No, Elizabeth tells Mary. Elizabeth Mariam. What she went through. When she was barren. They speak the same language. Impossibilities are possible. The Bible says, listen, don't Bible a wise man wisely picks his friends. Wisely. Because if Mary stayed in Nazareth, possible chances were she could get a miscarriage. Everyone would say, You're pregnant of the Holy Spirit. They would go advise Joseph. Just look for a guy who pregnanted your wife. Since when did the Holy Spirit pregnant people? She left that town and went to a town called Judea where people are pregnant already. You want to be a lawyer? Read his books. Because everything you want to be, somebody is, has already been. Amen. I'm going to repeat that statement. Pinch your neighbor and tell them to go to Judea. 
get away from that village where you are. Whatever you want to become. Elizabeth is already pregnant somewhere. She's six months pregnant. There are people who are bought their pregnancies. You just need to get away from them so that you don't have a miscarriage. Mami Muksi. I have a friend of mine from the village. Every time they came to visit, I felt that they were trying to help me have a miscarriage. You're welcome. In the village, things are not going on well. Everyone is dead. I have a dream that I am becoming great in Kampala. So why are you here? Do you have money so that we can make well the graveyard? Why? All the neighbors around us are dying. So we are getting ashamed. That person is trying to say that one of us is coming on next to die. Just in case anything happens. Because last time we were burying at Mr. Kabogoza's home. And even the other person is so sick. Then I said, let me come to Kampala. Give me money to make well a graveyard. Why? Something might happen, you never know. Almost everyone is dying back there in the village. You just need to get away from such people. And go and visit people that say, In the next five years, I'm going to have a house of my own and rentals. Hey! You made a group which, which, which is entitled failed marriages. Mine always beats me and mine bites me. So you join the group of failures. Mine is there and he exists. Some of us the Bible says when she got there the baby in her womb leaped the baby in her womb leaped. Do you know that you look at certain people and your dreams get alive? If you don't have such people, may the Lord bring them for you in Jesus' name. I wanted to sing. But I didn't know how to dance. All the pastors were in the choir. Hey! There was a part for dancing and everyone would pity me. And they knew that I didn't know how to dance. But while I was watching TV, I would see Michael W. Smith. I saw 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 Michael W. Smith. The stadium was full of over 20,000 people. But he wasn't dancing. He was just playing the keyboard. God will make a way where I seems to be no way. Camera ne tambula nga bantu banji akana ne kabuka munze we poop. And then the ch- baby inside of me leaped. Do you have any Elizabeth in your life? Some of you have seen these people and you feel that you can do something that they are doing. There are people that you meet and your baby in your womb lips. But yet you meet some and you just have a miscarriage. They disappoint you and frustrate you. Go to Judea. The baby leaped. There are people that you look at and you feel that it is possible for you to do what they are doing. Look at Elizabeth, look at Obama. Where did he come from? Every time I look at Obama, the baby on the inside of me leaps. Forget the politics side. I am talking about someone coming from nowhere. And they rule America or they lead America. 
Make sure that you become something. Write this down. Don't fight successful people. Just learn from them. If you be successful, eat them like eating fish. Drop the bones. Drop the things they've not done good. Keep the, 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 the meat. Some of you, whoever is successful, you fight. But in Judea, there are happening great things. Pastor Philip. Pastor Phil. We hosted a fight. And we asked around who could be able to interpret for him. And Pastor Philip knew how to speak good English by the time. So we gave him the visitor to move with. When the person got there, they started eating and they asked for burgers. Pastor Philip got the bread up put it aside and ate it and then he changed the burger. Whatever you want the Lord to do for you, he did it for someone else already. Speed, I went to London. I went to London. And I went to a room of a single mother in the house with two rooms. After the dinner, she showed me my room and went and closed herself in her own. We were in Judea. We're talking about Judea now. When I got there, there was no bed. And I waited for the some, for someone who is coming around with my mattress. May the Lord help someone who still comes to the room. You should go and visit Judea. May the Lord build for you a big house with three rooms. Receive it in Jesus' name. Our visitors at their home where they come from, when they make a mistake, do you know how they tell their child about it? They tell them, go to your room. Think about what you've done. And I know that they, I wondered at what they do. And the child feels bad because they have been told to go to their rooms. But in Africa, that is not a punishment. <laughs> and probably they don't even have their own room. The Lord being faithful, he will build you a house. That is not a blessing. May the Lord do for you a miracle and you will know that you're now blessed. Tofa I am about to finish. London. While we're in London in that room at 10 p.m., no one is coming around with a mattress. It's 11 p.m. And I fear to knock on the ladies' room. But then I made a decision to go out to her. And I knocked onto her room and called her. You forgot to. Give me the mattress. Oh, I'm sorry. She came to the room. Pressed a switch. And the mattress came from the wall. 
didn't sleep peacefully on that kind of bed. Some of you are speaking like that because you're not. Go and visit Judea because there are pregnant people there. You're speaking like that because of poverty. I will never forget Grand Imperial. I saw a very beautiful shirt that fits me. I'm talking about Judea. Go, go from Nazareth, Mary, and visit Judea. And I asked the lady, how much is that shirt? Ah, ngatai na sonyo mukazi yangamba mitwalo 10 na mwenda. And he told okay. me 199,000 shillings. Konse zis satiem. And I wondered that it's just one shirt that costs that much. Ngabira kunyete bagana na kulamuza. It is free for you to go to a market and find out about the prizes. Emu ne balabala mu mo wino. Twalo 10 na mwenda mbangu ze satiem. But it another market. I could buy a lot of shirts from that price. While I was still amazed at them, a man paid for it and went it before me. And I thought that they are just foolish people. May the Lord raise someone here. Whatever you want to become, someone else is already believing it. Don't fight against them, but just see from them and learn from them. Everything that we are doing, that is why I don't believe in pastors who fight against each other. Because everything that we are, we sow from them. I don't believe in pastors fighting. Especially the new pastors. Because whatever we do, we saw somebody doing it. Whatever you want to do, the Lord has already done it for someone else. And he's going to do it for you too. Lastly, Elizabeth, what did Elizabeth do? When she saw Mary, she was filled with the Holy Spirit. After, after baptizing the child in Elizabeth's womb,